up Evan from Stock Music Musician today and I'm going to show you how to make trap hats super easy sounds great um, it's something that shouldn't be that difficult to do in reason but surprisingly is um, the basic part of this is that you're going to want to be um, automating the patterns of um, the hi-hats but you notice here you can't actually edit the automation on the matrix um, so if you programmed a constant beat how would you get um, get that to change the way it does in trap music well even if you were to put a matrix inside of a combinator or a mix channel for whatever reason um, no pun intended like look I just put the matrix inside the resolution which is how fast or how slow it plays the matrix you cannot automate it which is crazy to me I don't understand why but there's no way to do it but don't worry because I'm gonna show you the simple easy way to get trap hats to work for you um, but I'd like to invite you to take a moment just to like and subscribe to this channel leave a comment let me know what I'm doing right what I'm doing wrong how I can help you um, so yeah let's keep this conversation going so I'll start this song from the beginning and I'll show you how I'm doing it what I'm doing and then I'll show you how I'm doing it so So that's the basic effect. What you would eventually do is go and automate that so that each of the steps comes in the right way instead of sort of being stuck in the middle states. But that's the simple, easy way to get the sound you're looking for with almost no work. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to download this combinator patch. It'll save you even more time. So go visit the website. All you got to do is sign up for my email. Uh, newsletter I don't spam you I only send helpful tips uh, you download this combinator right now you'll be making trap hats in about three seconds um, so let's deconstruct this um, the first thing we want to do is basically create the arpeggiator instead of a matrix so using the arpeggiator to create the constant triggering because with the arpeggiator, you are able to repeat the single note. So you create the arpe arpeggiate inside of a combinator, make sure single note repeat is on, and that gets you kind of the way there. But what you're next gonna have to do in order to trigger the arpeggiator is go over to the sequencer and actually draw in just a note that plays the whole time, which is going to make the arpeggiator start to arpeggiate. And it's just gonna keep hitting the same note over and over again, which is pretty much what you want to happen with a hi-hat. Now you can also do some stuff where, you know, let's just start from the beginning. Um, now, you actually can't do any of that the way I have it set up right now. You gotta look at another video I have about how to manipulate the pitch of an instrument in um, Kong. And um, so check that video out, it's linked right there. Um, but you can actually use this also as a very simple way um, of using the pattern insert here, like three, one or whatever. It means like every third note will be a higher note, um, which will kind of get you like almost that like sound. Um, but check out that video for that. I don't want to get distracted, which I tend to do. So let's focus just on how to get that change in stuttering sound that's so common in trap music. Um, so we create the arpeggiator, we put it into a combinator, and then what we want to do is take the programmer here and select a rotary one, or whatever you want to call it. We can call this uh, resolution, basically, or rate rates even better and basically this knob is going to control the rate you can see down here the rate is changing as I move this knob and you're gonna want to step away from the extreme settings too low and it's gonna be just too slow too high and it's just gonna sound like a glitched 
which is a beautiful sound, but not exactly what we're going for. Um, and so from there, you then want to make sure that the gate out, which tells the velocity of the note and tells how hard it should be triggered and when it should be triggered, goes into the hi-hat patch here um, on your Kong. And so um, it's pretty much that simple. And now let's automate the rate. You can right click on it, edit automation. Um, I'm not gonna try and make it sound good. I'm just gonna do an example. You uh, hit Q to select, and now you can hit Alt to draw on the pencil tool or just go up here, select the pencil. Um, also W brings up the pencil. Um, among other things. So um, drop a double dot here, um, bring it down, bring it up, bring it all the way down, and bring it all the way up at the end. So now let's see what that sounds like. I'm not trying to make it sound good, but you want to experiment with this, you've got to get it set right or it sounds like crap. But the main point is now you know how to do it. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I hope this really helped.